and the government of Kenya and the United Kingdom have signed a collaborative memorandum of understanding to enhance the capacity of health workers in the country. Now, the collaboration will be implemented through the Kenyatta University Teaching, Research and Referral Hospital. This was announced after a tour of UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab, who has also promised the UK collaboration with Kenya of development and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. Our very own Sam Gituku was there. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab was on a one-day tour of the country, holding meetings with President Uhuru Kenyatta, Cabinet Secretaries Rochelle Omamo of Foreign Affairs, Mutahi Kago of Health, and other CSs and senior government officials. The visit culminating in several concessions as Kenya seeks to collaborate with the UK on regional security, climate change, health and other sectors. The UK minister announcing collaboration with Kenya in implementing a COVID-19 vaccination program. We have the uh, AstraZeneca uh, collaboration here in Kenya and we are therefore uh, supporting, collaborating and I think at a technical level, mm -hmm. uh, given our experience of the rollout, we will share any and all information that's helpful. Later in the afternoon, the British minister visited the Kenya Medical Research Institute, an institution that in its Kilifi Center has been collaborating on a COVID-19 vaccine research. CS Kago and the visiting minister signed an MOU that, among other things, paves way for two UK institutions, including a university, to collaborate with the KU Hospital. Part of the benefit is an innovation center for medics who will gain technical support on clinical services and to conduct research. The fact that we can share experience of rolling out the vaccine, we've been through the rollout process or we're in the process of going through it. And I think most importantly, and with the, uh, with the agreement that we've just signed, we're not just dealing with the current crisis, but we understand that if there's any lesson to be learned throughout this awful pandemic, it is that we need to collaborate more closely, more intensively, and in particular with our closest, most trusted friends. As it has done since the formation in the 1980s with the establishment of the renowned Kemri Kilifi Center, the UK-Kenya Scientific and Research Partnership, we accelerate Kenya's vision towards universal health coverage and in a very personal way continue to extend the lives of millions of Kenyans. This as the country recorded 136 new COVID-19 infections from 3,787 samples tested, marking yet another positivity rate lower than 5%. But Kagwe warns the country is not yet safe. According to WHO uh, standards, when you have tested below 5% for the kind of period that we have, normally you would uh, consider yourself as on the way or at least having flattened the curve. However, as I have seen, I've repeated in the past, we have maintained higher surveillance than would be normal because some of the measures we have taken, especially the opening of the schools, are pretty heavy, um, heavy events. And we do not want to start declaring ourselves having flattened the curve and then immediately start going backwards. Despite the collaborations with foreign governments and agencies, Kenya's COVID-19 vaccine journey is still at the planning stage. We are looking at uh, being ready as a country uh, by around April. But again, uh, leveraging on our existing infrastructure that the minister has just talk, talked about, it is also possible that we may have the vaccine even sooner in the country. Kagwe remains confident that the schooling resumption, now in its third week, has had no notable adverse effects on transmission of the virus. Sam Gitukusuzen TV.